The security guards for Lil Baby got a little too aggressive when a fan came up on stage. He realized he had fucked up. Was this legal? Assuming this took place in the US, the general principles of self-defense also apply to the defense of others. But when using defensive force, a key element is proportionality. Basically, the force that you use has to be proportional to the threat face. Here, you can make the argument that you never know what this man on stage is trying to do. Is he a crazed man trying to stab little baby? You can't say little. No. But more realistically, the man isn't armed and doesn't appear to be much of a threat at all. He seems like he's trying to go in for a hug. When defensive force is unproportional or unreasonable, it becomes illegal battery. The most interesting part of all this is that Lil Baby himself could be held civilly liable for battery. Under the theory of respondeat superior, which kind of sounds like it's from Harry Potter, employers can be liable for the illegal acts of their employee. For example, if a McDonald's employee throws scalding hot coffee in a customer's face, McDonald's itself can be sued, not just the employee. So if Lil Baby hired the security team, he could be held liable for the injury this guy suffered.